we originally had been planning to come out to uh, southwestern Ontario for quite some time and originally the game plan was for AJ and I to do this trip. Unexpectedly, um, AJ's wife Lindsay, um, her due date for delivering the baby got moved up quite a bit. So AJ wasn't able to make this trip, but um, in his absence he suggested that uh, I give uh, John a call and see if John's available because uh, John's running many miles in Ontario. And so. Him and I met up and uh, we uh, set out to embark on a new adventure. Well, you know, I wasn't slated to be on this meteorite, ride and uh, AJ and, uh, is, is at home with his wife having a baby today, so instead of getting AJ, you now have JA. For this trip, uh, we're going to uh, uh, Grey Bruce County, which is sort of the southwestern portion of um, Ontario. We're going to be visiting a couple areas. We're going to start off in Owen Sound, uh, tour the trails around there, make our way up to Wyerton, uh, to a couple attractions. And then from uh, that area, we're going to make our way back down to what's referred to as the Blue Mountains area. And that's uh, in proximity to uh, Collingwood. What's really unique about Southwestern Ontario is how it not only borders uh, New York State, uh, Michigan, and uh, parts of Pennsylvania and Ohio in terms of accessibility, but it's really, really close for someone from the greater Toronto area to get up here as well. I mean, literally, it's, it's maybe a matter of three hours and you're up into what is this year is considered a mecca uh, for snowmobiling. Hey boys, who's hey. ready to ride Bruce Gray Simcoe in the snow squalls? Well, we're gonna try today. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. The beauty thing about riding in this area is that we have so many options. I've got a plan, we can go to Inglis Falls, we can go to Bruce's Cave, Skinner's Bluff, weather permitting, but we can also do smaller loops right around Owen Sound, so there's tons of options. We've got the Spaghetti Trail Network. We've got trails that run all over. We're gonna go out for an hour, two hours, up to Skinner's Bluff, Wyerton, Bruce's Caves, Inglis Falls. We are gonna have a blast. We've learned from experience that when you set up a destination tour, look for a local that knows the area. And when it comes to Grey Bruce, there's only one individual that you can turn to. That individual is, is Chris Hughes. I have to say, it's, it's somewhat unfortunate that the southwestern portion of Ontario sometimes gets um, overlooked. Far too many people sort of think of going north on the 400 highways to the northern destinations to ride, but they're missing a great opportunity when, when they look at southwestern Ontario. You know, the Great Bruce offers you so much of varied terrain from the uh, Blue Mountains to the rolling hills and the farmlands to the escarpments overlooking uh, Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. It's, it's got a network of trails that can keep you occupied up in here for a week, maybe two weeks. And you, I, I'll tell you what, you're gonna come back and ride some more of them because you're not gonna see them all in one trip. This is a, a real uh, different part of the province to ride in. And, and again, you'll, you'll find that uh, snow builders are very welcome here and, and uh, it's a big part of their economy. Overall, in, in the Grey Bruce area, because they're surrounded with uh, Georgian Bay and Yer Lake Huron, those lakes are just notoriously known for being snowmaking machines. Uh, Owen Sound and Wyerton, in particular, get hit a lot harder than sort of the Blue Mountains area. For Owen Sound, I mean, they, they typically like to sort of reference about a nine feet average snowfall a year. Uh, when we were up there, we were talking with the guys, and they're saying that they're close to about 14 feet already this year. We had a destination in mind, and that was Skinner's Bluff for our first uh, segment of the ride. Weather conditions unfortunately played a part where it dramatically slowed us down. There was so much snow falling that we were literally breaking trail uh, most of the day. I mean, there's times where you just didn't know where you're going. You couldn't necessarily rely on the, on the signs because they were buried in the snow. So we were really fortunate to have Chris guide us. He got us uh, as close to Zwarted as we could under the conditions. And once the weather broke, we were able to get a little bit further, but Unfortunately for Chris, his time uh, that was allotted for this uh, ride was rather short, but uh, he did put us in the right direction for the um, 
the next part of the adventure and we did get up to Warrington. So when we made it up to Wharton uh, for that second part of the destination that we were hoping for, the skies had opened up. It was just an absolutely beautiful day. We traveled along the, the escarpment and we got to the lookout. And uh, the lookout itself is really, really unique. I mean, you, you look out to what is the inlet of Georgian Bay coming into Wharton. Really, it's breathtaking and it just shows you uh the vastness of what they have up here. To look out over Georgian Bay, where it kind of next down into Lake Huron, and to see the big bluffs off in the distance, as well as looking down in over onto uh, Georgian Bay where we were standing. Truly amazing, it was my first visit there, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we uh, were able to get to uh, experience that uh, vista. You know, what's really common when you go for a snowmobile ride is you see either stay at a hotel or a motel. They're all great in Ontario, but we wanted to try something a little bit different this, uh, this trip as well. And I was able to find that place in uh, Osprey, which is just outside of Collingwood. And the place was pretty River Valley Inn. It's a unique place. I mean, it, it's uh, referred to as sort of like a, um, an inn on a farm. It was a really neat experience and something different, something that I'd highly recommend anyone try. So from the end, we just, when we leave here, we'll turn right and here's the, the opposite trail. way. Yeah, here's the trail right here. We're right at the bottom of three stage, which is really good. So we'll just climb up three stage. It's one of the highest elevations you get in this uh, area. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, um, you basically have the whole view of, uh, of the coastline here. That's pretty cool because it's a pretty steep climb as well which is kind of nice. Well, and the last time I was here, I can remember looking, you know, up, up on top of there before we come down right to the waterfront there in yeah. Collingwood, you could, yeah, it's, the, the views and vistas up there are phenomenal. And a good, if you get a good clear day tomorrow, you'd, wow, it's, it's beautiful up there. This area is pretty unique because it, it, depending on the time of the season, you get to see different natural attractions. For us, the natural attractions this, this year was basically some of the escarpments that overlooked on, on the lakes. Here you have elevations well over a thousand feet that you're climbing and uh, that makes it pretty unique in this area. You know, if you come back maybe in the springtime, uh, some of the attractions that you might see is they have these really neat caves that when the snow is packed down enough, you can actually ride up to the caves and get into it. We didn't get to experience it this trip, but it's something that's probably gonna bring us back the next time looking for more. And make no mistake about it, this is a great area for any snowmobiler ride, whether you live in Northern Ontario, Eastern Ontario. It's just, it's kind of a place that doesn't get a lot of attention and you shouldn't overlook this area for a ride. Gray Bruce is, uh, has got some tremendous trails and uh, the hospitality, this is snowmobile country up in here. You know, anyone that gets a chance to ride with John should feel Privileged. I mean, he's been riding for well over 52 years. The stories that he has, I mean, it's it's hard to, to try to live up to it. And I, But I think this trip was one of those experiences that he's going to share with his friends and talking about the experience that uh, that he had riding in. And it was a great pleasure. And uh, if I ever get the chance to ride with him again, I'll be the first to raise my hand and, and take a step forward and, and more than happy to go any ride with John.
<clears throat> you know, Vern was highly entertaining on this trip, and we'll just leave it at that. And we had a lot of fun. And uh, Vern doesn't get to do a lot of the rides, and, and uh, I, you know, I fill in when needed on this show, and uh, we had a great time together. And, and he's uh, he's a hoot to ride with, and uh, and uh, looking forward to the next time we were able to do this.